Hi, my name is Kyle Lyon. I'm a systems architect here at Solutions PT. And in today's episode of Tech Bytes, we're going to be going over how to use data that's captured in Aviva Insight, our cloud-based asset management and data analysis platform, in Aviva Reports for Operations, also known as Dream Reports. This allows you to leverage data captured in the central cloud repository that Insight offers for building comprehensive reports and automating their distribution to who, whoever needs to see them whenever they need to see them. Some examples of use cases for this may be you're capturing energy usage across multiple sites and feeding this up into Insight. You then want to send out some pre-built reports detailing usage consumption and indicative costs to key stakeholders. Another example might be you are aggregating some overall equipment effectiveness metrics across multiple lines or multiple sites using Insight's performance module, and you want to provide an overview report to upper management. So to get started, I'm here in the Aviva Reports studio. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure our drivers, and we want a driver to connect to Aviva Insight. So in here, we're going to go into the Aviva folder and select Aviva Insight Historical Values in Cloud Historian. If you're in older versions of Dream Reports, this might be under the Wonderware folder. So we're going to select that driver and provide it with a logical name that we're going to name it as. For this, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to call it Insight. We then want to go into Configure, and it's going to ask us for a server root, a username, and a password. So to get your server root, you first need to go into your Insight solution. Go into the Administration tab. Select Integration Settings, and particularly we want the REST API. And right down at the bottom here, we want the basic authentication. And this endpoint here is going to be our server root. We can copy that to clipboard like so, and head back into the Dream Report Studio. Paste our server root in, and then we want to provide a username and password. That's usually going to be your own username and password to access your Insight solution as an administrator. So I'll enter mine. Okay, now that that's done, we want to hit test connection to verify that the details we provided successfully allow us to get data from Insight. And we can see that connection has been established successfully. In here, I can tweak the individual settings as well, whether I want to pull through data raw, so that is every value, if I want some analog summary or state summary verification, some response timeouts and various other things like that. For my case, I'm just going to leave this as default, select OK, and then add the driver to our defined drivers list. You can see in the bottom here that we now have a driver connection string, which will have your server root included in there as well. Now we're going to select OK. We're just going to save the driver. And then let's populate this report with some data from that Insight solution. So using some of the built-in functions within Dream Reports or Viva Reports, we can define a single data object. So for this, we'll call it single data, nice and simple. Where we're getting our data from is an external history server. So we're going to select these ellipses and select our Insight data source that we've just created. What you'll see within here is you'll have a list of your data sources that are within Insight. For myself, I'm looking for KL Power Demo. And then once I click into there, I'll have a list of all the tags associated with that data source. For me, I'm going to select Dobin Wait. Again, as with usual with the Viva Reports configuration, I can then apply some specific configuration on this data point. But for my case, I'm just going to leave it as the default. Next up, we'll make a trend following the exact same procedure. You 
can see that it's already remembered that we had Dobin weight previously selected. So that's going to be my first Dobin weight. I'm going to add that immediately. And then I'm going to go in again, select KL Power Demo and select Dobin 2 weight. Add that as well. Select OK on that to finish. We'll reduce the size slightly. And then we will also create an automated statistical table. So in here, we're going to select that our data source is an external history server. We're going to select edit list and select our insight data source. Again, I'm going to use the same two tags from this. So I'm going to open up the power demo and add Adobe in one and two's weight. Select OK. And for what statistical functions I want to carry out, I want my minimum my maximum and my average over the last day. Select OK on that. And we have a report created with some of our data coming from our cloud insight storage. So let's launch this report into runtime and we can see what data is coming through. So our reports are now in runtime. So I can select the report that we just created, generate a new one of it. You can see it's entered the report skew here and it's currently just generating. Now that's done, we can open our project folder and open up that report. So as we can see, this report has now been generated with the data coming from the Insight solution. And obviously these reports are static, so they'll have the values at the time they were generated. But one of the other features of Aviva reports for operations is that we can create live dashboards with this as well as a report format. And that's been how to use Aviva Insight data inside of Aviva reports for operations. Thanks very much for watching. And if you would like a textual version of how to do this, there is a link down below to the tech note from the Aviva customer support website. And if you would like any further information on this, please do feel free to get in touch with us.